Happy Tuesday, election day, the 3rd of November, 2020. I am getting prepared for a trip to a place called Kashmir. And to get to Kashmir, it's kind of in central Washington. I need to go through a mountain pass. And so the mountain pass I've chosen to go through is Stevens Pass on U.S. Highway number two. And so this is the U.S. Well, not the U.S. Washington State Department of Transportation website for Stevens Pass. And so it has updated pictures. So this is what it looks like on the west. Snow has already fallen. This is the east. And so it gives us a little information about Stevens Pass and what to expect and a little bit of the forecast. And so there is snow. And I am heading over to Kashmir on Monday, next Monday, the 9th. I'm heading back on, oh, tentatively heading back on Thursday, the, that would be the 12th. And so I'm going over to see my aunt and my uncle. And my uncle is in the United States Marine Corps. He was a cook. And so my goal is to spend the United States Marine Corps birthday, which is on the 10th with him as well as Veterans Day, which is on the 11th. So I think that'd be very exciting to spend with him. So this is the forecast, snow. And what does that mean? I'm driving there. So what that means is if this is snowy enough, wet enough, icy enough for this right here, I need tire chains. You're not allowed to pass unless you have tire chains. And so looking at Kashmir, a little further out, so Monday is when I would arrive. That's not so bad. It's a little warmer in Kashmir. So this is Google, and then this is the NOAA. Is it NOAA? The, it's the Weather, National Weather Service. And so it looks all right. So that's mostly rain in Kashmir. So that's not too concerning. And then we go to Stevens Pass, and this is where it gets a little concerning, is snow. And so I was, and this is Google weather. And so why does that matter? Well, let's go over here to the National Weather Service. And the problem is, so it's cold, uh, with snow that heats up again. So if you have rain, then snow, snow, and when it freezes, that's not too bad. You just get ice and snow. But if it snows and then the temperature rises again, and then it cools again. So let's say it snowed. So let's say it snowed, went up to 41, it started to melt, then it rained and snowed again, and it all froze. What happens is you get something called black ice, and black ice is super, super dangerous. Uh, it's something you don't want to drive in. Even with chains, there's a high likelihood for sliding off the road, getting in an accident, um, or dying. So, black ice, bad news. But if you're going to drive with black ice, you still want chains. And so where is this all going? Tire chains. The past couple days I've been working with my dad to get my tire chains on the car, make sure they're working and that kind of thing. So we're gonna go out. We now know the weather forecast and that means take chains. So let's go check out my chains for my car, my tire chains. Excuse me, that was a bird. That was a bird. Going out to look at Oh yes, chickens! All right, it is raining, so I'll get my hood up. And my camera under the hood. I look thoroughly ridiculous doing this. Don't worry. Oh, and I got my tabs. They're good to go for 2021. They expired today. I got them a few days ago. I already paid them in full. And um, so we're good on the tabs and registration. Here are my tire chains. And so they're good to go. I tried them, put them on. I have a tarp in case there's snow on the ground and towels to clean myself off. Also, if it's not raining, I have a big thick rug that I can be on. Um, so that yeah i got water emergency supplies a road atlas for washington state tinder for a fire which not really the right season for that um 
and then I replenished. So some of the food, I went through this yesterday and pulled out all the stuff that had expired and got new supplies for my emergency pack. So those are the tire chains and they have, they come with instructions. So, so those are the chains in there and these are the instructions and you get them for, let's see, I kept this somewhere. Oh, we kept the receipt. Oh, where did I put it? There it is. So I have 195-65R15. So what does that mean? It means you need to know that number when you go to get tire chains. And so we went to the Les Schwab Tire Center in Redding, California. I was heading north in November 2015 and there was snow and blizzard. And we, it, for road safety, we were required to have tire chains. And so these are the tire chains I got then. My dad and I both put one on. We broke one, the rubber snapped it, and took it to Les Schwab to get the rubber replaced. And so that number that I read off that you need to know, where do you find it on your car? So, this is not quite the right weather to be doing this. Oh. Uh, was it the front or the back wheel? Might have been the back wheel. Uh, yeah, it is. So back tire, we got, I don't know if you see, 195 dash or slash 65 R15. So let's go through P195 slash 65 R15. So that's the number you need to know when you go to get tire chains for your car. So I'm ready to go. Hoping for no black ice, that's super bad. Super bad news, not safe at all to drive on, even with chains. Um, if you do drive on black ice, let's see, if you do drive on black ice, aim for the patches, soft, like rough surface, and aim for the snow. That'll be um, way safer than the black ice where you just slide and you lose control of steering. It's bad news. So let's hope for clear weather when I go. If not, I'm prepared and Remember that if you don't feel safe, the tire chains break or whatever, you can always turn back. Better safe and alive than dead.